Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. Now, one of the services that our clients most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy S8 Active, and this one is actually from AT&T here in the US. And this device actually does have the Google account lock enabled. As we can see here, as we're going through the setup process, we get to the screen that says that it was reset. And to continue, it specifically asks for the previous account that was on it. However, we're making this video to let all of our clients know that we do offer a service to be able to remove that lock on the specific model. We've actually already done 99% of the work here, so actually all we're going to have to do is to do a restart to the phone. And then after that, it should be all cleared off and we should be able to see that we can then get all the way through the setup without seeing that lock. For those who might not quite be familiar, the Google account lock was something enabled by Google back in Android 5 to where when you do a factory reset to the device without first taking off the Google account that's on it, it's then going to ask for that account again after the factory reset, just kind of as a security feature. So we've had a lot of customers contact us over the years who needed help either getting into their own phone that they had gotten locked out of or because they had been scammed by a dishonest seller who sold them a phone that didn't have the or that did have the lock enabled but wasn't on honest with them about it and then obviously discovered that they couldn't get through it because they didn't know the information. So the device is fully restarted here. It's coming back up. So we're going to start going through the setup process here. Wi-Fi, we're going to skip that. We can agree to the terms and conditions. It's going to check for updates. And then if we had gone through the whole process previously, we would have seen that basically right here is where the Google account lock would have shown up. But now, as you'll notice, we come to a screen that specifically says that we can sign in with any Google account instead of specifically requiring the previous one that was on it. Let me go ahead and just skip through the rest of the process here, and then we should be able to see that we can access the full home screen and all the apps, functions, and features just like if it was a brand new device. Skip that. No, skip. There's no trickery going on here. We didn't sign in with our own account or anything like that. As you guys can see, the lock was on there. All we did is a restart and then comes back. The way that we remove that is with our computer programs and tools while it's plugged into a computer. And so we had already done 99% of the work ahead of time before we started making the video to be able to keep it as short as possible. Okay, we're just about through. We're going to skip the Samsung stuff. And uh, there's more. Okay, well, let's skip that too. Finish. Okay, there we go. So it's all done. And there we go. We've got the home screen there. Um, you, you probably noticed the AT&T logo that was showing while it was turning on. Just so we're clear on what type of device this is, we're going to show you the about page here from the settings. So we are indeed dealing with an S8 Active with the model number G892A. So that's specifically the AT&T version of this device. But it can also be done for both the Sprint and the T-Mobile versions of the S8 Active as well. Those have a different model number, but internally it's basically the same device. We just happen to have this one here with us today for demonstration purposes. So if you have a Galaxy S8 Active and would like help getting the Google account lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the information there as well. Make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel while you're here, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find Find something there that could come in handy someday. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're here to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.